Hello everybody and welcome back to Dude Ranch DIY. My name is Jake and today we are back in the wood yard. A, just a couple days ago I got back from a little visit up to Rugged Made Log Splitters where they gave me this awesome hat and we filmed a bunch of pretty cool videos. Um, you probably already saw the quick little almost teaser video that we put out a couple days ago um, announcing the contest for a six-way slide-on wedge giveaway. So if you are in the market for a six-way splitting wedge, um, it fits all rugged made log splitters as well as a lot of other uh, log splitters. You might have to like look at the measurements and stuff, but um, go down. Uh, well, actually, I don't know if it's down or up or whatever. I'll put a link up here to the video. And um, all you got to do is subscribe to both channels and leave a comment saying Rugged Made in all capitals down in the comment section below. And you will be entered for a chance to win a Rugged Made six-way splitting wedge. Um, so now that that's out of the way, I want to show you what we got going on in the wood yard because I was busy out here over the weekend. I didn't film anything because the weather was pretty bad. It was pretty windy, but I just want to get everybody caught up. And then we're going to be taking care of a couple things and splitting up a bunch of firewood. So let me show you what we got going on. So in one of the last videos, I showed you this big piece of wood that we're going to be playing stump on, and it was on top of a bunch of cherry wood. Um, since then, I have dumped that load of cherry and stacked it up over here in the pile. You can see it's all this darker red cherry looking stuff. So not a ton of wood, but you know, it's cherry, which is uh, kind of hard to come by. Not super hard to come by, but hard enough to come by, uh, you know, in, in these larger sizes. And then I got even more cherry. While I was away up at Rugged Made, Chris sent me a picture of some cherry trees they were taking down on a little side job that he was doing and it was beautiful stuff it was like basically half a trailer load and i got a bunch of it cut up as you can see here and we got one more log here and you know just three smaller logs here this crotch that's right here chris actually asked me to save he wants to mill it up this fall or winter with the chainsaw mill um, so we will probably be filming that at some point in the future but we got a bunch of really nice cherry here. I ran out of time yesterday or whatever it was, two days ago when I was cutting all this stuff up. Um, we got, you know, like I said, these three or four more logs to cut up, but this is gonna be really nice stuff. So I just threw the grapple on and we're gonna finish cutting this stuff up. I had a half tote of oak over here in front of the splitter, but I swapped that out and brought over this half tote of cherry that way we could finish filling this tote up with cherry and then obviously you know we'll probably be able to fill up at least one other tote um, full of cherry because now i'm trying to at least uh sort my my wood by species that way i can price it accordingly so that's kind of the plan i want to get this stuff cut up and then we will move on to a little accessory that i got for the tractor that I want to put on and then by that time Sarah should be done with her last meeting and she is going to come out into the wood yard finally I know it's been a while some of you have been asking where she is um, she's just been really busy with work and she's gonna come out and help us split it's a beautiful day it's only like 73 degrees out sun's out it started out raining this morning so everything's a little wet back here but blue skies gorgeous day here in southwestern Connecticut so we're gonna get this stuff cut up quick then we're gonna go put on this accessory then we're gonna split wood. So here we go.
right guys, the steel MS-362 and Mingo marker made quick work of those last couple pieces of cherry. In addition to the help of the tractor with the wicked grapple, we got a bunch of really nice rounds of cherry here. I'm guessing this is probably, including filling up this tote, this is probably at least two more totes full of cherry. I do have some short pieces of oak here that came off of the big oak round over there. I'm going to split those up into chunks and just put them in my chunk tote, which I will burn, you know, either this winter or next winter or whatever. That's what I've kind of been doing with all my short pieces. So I've been putting it with exception to those pieces that are right on the splitter. I've been putting my shorter pieces off to the side, like my cookies. Um, when it is nice wood that I can split, put it off there and I might as well burn it instead of giving it away to my buddy. If I can use it and not have to tap into my own supply of firewood, that's more for me to sell and just, you know, makes more sense overall. So now we're going to head back up to the house quick. We got about a half an hour until Sarah is done with work to come out and help me split. And we're going to put a little accessory on the front end of the tractor. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you can guess what that accessory might be before I show you like in a second here. Well guys, here she is. We are not going to get to the little tractor accessory because Sarah's last meeting got canceled. I did, so I'm here to work. So you're here early. That means we're gonna get in an extra tote of firewood, huh? Maybe. Maybe. Maybe, we'll see. I haven't done this in a while. Yeah, you, we gotta- we gotta longer than usual. Right, we, we gotta take a, a baby steps here and, and get in. But um, now there's something we've been wanting to express to the channel, but since you haven't been around, we've kind of been keeping it under wraps. So uh, we kind of have some big news here, guys. We do. Can anyone guess what it is? <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll tell you. Um, we got engaged. Yep, Sarah. Um, we went to Cape Cod. Um, when did we go? August? Like Mid-August. Mid-August. Mid we, we go to Cape Cod every year, to basically to the same spot. And uh, it's kind of a special place for us. So I decided it would be a good spot to pop the question to Sarah here. He did a great job. He now, <laughs> this might come to surprise to some of you because a lot of you, I think, based on the comments, you think Sarah and I were already married, but um, nope. we were not. And uh, now we are in line to get married. Yeah, next year. Next year, next summer. So uh, that's something to look forward to. We're really excited. And uh, that's part of the reason why Sarah hasn't been present in some of the videos because she's been busy very busy planning. planning yeah planning the wedding locking down a venue and everything which we have done so that's uh the big part is over and now now we can enjoy right so you engaged. you better uh did you bring down your work gloves to protect that thing yeah i did all right good move so basically i was showing them i cut up all this really nice cherry the other day you heard me out here and i brought a tote over that's already half full of cherry so basically, oh, do you have a tote? no, well, we got to fill that tote and then keep going. <laughs> okay. So we'll see how much we can get done. By no means we have to get it all done, but um, cherry dries pretty quick. So um, I'd like to get this stuff split as fast as possible. That way we might be even be able to sell it towards the end of the, you know, towards the end of the winter. So sound good. Let's do it. All right, let's do it.
showed that in 12 minutes. Whoa. What do you think? You back in good it? to be back. Back, baby. We back. <laughs> All right. All right, guys, we filled up the rest of this tote in about 12 minutes. So this cherry is splitting really nice. It's really nice size stuff for both the six way and the four way. You can see I busted out the six way there, busted into six pieces and I really only have to like split the bottom two pieces again. So it goes pretty quick. Sarah is doing a great job at stacking. I need to swap out the grapple for the pallet forks because Sarah came down earlier than anticipated. So I'm gonna swap that out. I'm gonna get this tote out of the way and then grab another empty. Okay guys, so since this is cherry um, and we just split it today, normally I like to label the totes on like one of these side panels here, but this tote, it got ripped off. There's still the screws left here. So in that case, I just write it on one of the crossbars. So I'm just gonna write as if I didn't already know, but I'll write cherry. And then I'll just write the month and the year. So nine slash 22. That way, I have a good representation of how long it's been seasoning for and roughly when it'll be ready. Do you do that for every toe? Yep, I do it for I every toe. I never noticed it. Yeah, I usually do it once I bring them over, but I figured for the camera, since I have a lovely filming assistant, I would do it now. I also usually write it on the left side of the tote. That way, when I put it in the drying rack, um, it'll be, this side will be exposed before the right side because that's the way that, you know, the sequence of drying kind of works. So. Just wanted to show you that. It's a good little tip. Right, guys we were very successful with the help of the lovely Sarah here it's been a long time since I split with your help or I know, I, yeah I mean much faster. oh my goodness way faster it was taking me like an hour to split yeah. one of these granted it was like big oak and I was kind of struggling yeah, with those really big rounds that. yeah I wish we had a lot more cherry yeah. it smells good it doesn't smell crappy like oak and it splits really easily right it's like this all the time i'll help you more oh yeah well we don't really have much more uh big nasty oak the rest of the pile for the most part we have cherry see all the red yeah. down at the end that's all cherry and then most of this is like ash and maple um so all that stuff splits very much like cherry but we got a really nice full tote that took us about a half an hour um on the camera that's how long it was running for so sarah's got the sharpie marker she is going to right on here that it's cherry 
in her very neat handwriting. And the date. And bada bing, bada boom. Now all we got to do is get the top and a bungee cord and cover it up. But as you guys saw, um, it's really easy. You know, once now that we have all these tops, you can see, you know, we have all these tops over here and those bungee cords. Um, I'm not sure if there's a link in the description for the bungee cords, but if you guys use IBC totes, I found that these bungee cords are like the perfect length to fit over the tops of the totes, um, and they are adjustable if you want to use them for other stuff as well. So, uh, what's the plan for now? I'm gonna make some grilled chicken salad for dinner. Fire up the big green egg. Mm -hmm. You want to tell them about what Louie did today? Oh. Louie was a bad boy today. I thought I could trust him. I just had to run to Walgreens and I leave them for like a half hour and Louie goes into the sink, takes the sponge, chews that up, and then I made a smoothie this morning in my Nutribullet, takes the, what's the thing called? Like, like the, the top, the like top, the blender top. The blender top. And takes it out of the sink like eats the remaining part of the smoothie somehow thought, thank god he didn't cut his cut tongue his tongue off yeah he's got a big tongue i'm surprised he, he didn't right cut it to his crate when i got home because he knew he did something wrong yeah and then as soon as i got home he went right to his crate too and sarah said did you yell at him and i said no i didn't he, he just knew that he was a bad boy <laughs> i don't think we'll ever be able to leave him in, without and the, yeah i don't know it's been like almost what two years now and he's still uh causing trouble his size gets the best of him because he, get, he gets into trouble. Either. Well, yeah, Gus isn't physically able to. But, oh, I should also give him a little turtle update. So, yeah, I'll give you guys a turtle update. we got a whole new tank for him. Um, it's actually looking really good. The turtles have gotten a lot bigger. I know not many of you, but some of you are interested in the turtles. So I will include a couple seconds right after this um, of the new turtle habitat. But anyway, we were super excited to share in this uh, news with you guys about yeah. our engagement. So, um yeah i mean i don't know <laughs> that's about it yeah. we got really nice uh cherry split up today so as always guys thank you very much for watching if you're new to the channel welcome we got plenty of videos to go back in the archives and check out what we're all about but we are here in southwestern connecticut on about a four acre property and i do tree work professionally so hence all the firewood and equipment and stuff but as always guys thanks if you like the video give it a big thumbs up haven't done so already click that subscribe button down below we'd really appreciate it questions comments or feedback throw it down in that comment section don't forget to enter yourself for a chance to win a six-way rugged made splitting wedge yeah. um, but for now i'm jake i'm sarah this is dude ranch diy thanks so much for watching we'll see you here next time and there's the troublemaker of the day big lou you had a couple things today huh buddy How's your tongue? Is it okay? There's Gus, the good boy. Little Fudge, as we've been calling him lately. He's getting bigger. Sarah's on the computer out here on the front porch. Let me show you the turtles real quick. So here's the new tank. It's roughly twice the size of the old tank, and the turtles have gotten considerably larger as well i'm not sure where we last left off but we also have five fish in there they are i think they're like colombian tetras or something but these guys have definitely grown so i got a double filter set up i think this tank is roughly like 35 gallons so um, with those two filters, we should be good for about like 75 gallons, which they say is the way to do it because turtles are pretty dirty creatures. So anyway, there's the new tank set up. They seem to be pretty happy. It's feeding time. They know what time it is. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.